Did you know that Waves' first kings were actually got him a major placement? This is him breaking it down. And that's the number one sample on Tracklist, which he's also gonna break down for us. During the Zoom call, Waves was spilling little jams here and there. For example, like... Your ceiling in your career, if you're copying somebody else, is just the bottom floor of their career. What would you recommend, like, in general, uh, young, young sample makers right now? First of all, stop trying to chase placements and, and just develop your music and develop your sound. You literally have one chance. That pack that you're gonna send is gonna be what they like basically judge your work off, right? So like, don't be so eager to be like, oh, I have to get a placement. I have to do this, I have to do that, right? But because like this game is, there's no age like limit, there's nothing, right? You could be like 95. The most important like mindset skill. Every time you open FL, don't don't approach it in the sense of, oh, I have to make something fire. I just make something like like just turn off your brain. I don't know how to explain it, but like just turn off the part of your brain that thinks about, oh, yeah, nah, I have to make it like this. Just let the music guide you. Some networking tips, uh, obviously outside of where you cook up because that's a cheat code. I think the best way to network is first, like wherever you're from look for producers that are in your city so even if you're working with like a little artist you're developing yourself too because now you're constantly working with these people you're working with these producers you're learning from these producers you're getting better i used a sound from the prince called space key i put a bunch of effects on it so first thing i use is king's microphone which is just another microphone emulation and then I just EQ'd like a lot of like, basically I just kept the mids pretty much. I need to s slow it down. So I put a half, half time. I put another half time, but I used the 1.5 mode. Ooh. Put in. So then I used this one shot. Now what effects it sounds like uh like this most of the thing is just this halftime really you know and then yeah i just eq'd not gonna lie this granola bar was tasty but you know a thing which is way crazier than that i got coop the truth agreement to give his first interview since 12 years on this channel if we manage to hit 50k by the end of the year so subscribe and share as much as possible to get us this coop the truth interview this is where the, like the vocals come there's a high yeah, vocal yeah, yeah. and there's a there's a low vocal mm -hmm. so I, I just put like a waves tune a little altar boy Put some CLA vocals. I EQ'd like all the low Ooh. end and like put it to the left a little bit. And for the low vocal, yeah, so I EQ'd like some of these mids here. I put a guitar, a, a guitar basically amp slash pedals, you know, some CLA vocals again. And then I pan this one to the right. And, and I have the high vocal going into a Abbey Rhodes plate. <laughs> Like the sample is already dope, but this is like the extra like, okay, I understand the groove, you know? So that's the thing that brings everything together, you know? Yeah. Little sauce. <laughs> Add this here at the end. <laughs> <King's name. laughs> All right, so basically uh, I did the sample with my boy Quinn. He played these chords for me. This is how it sounds like with no effects. Half time, one eighth loop, I EQ'd and then I use Fog Convolver, which is really cool. So now it sounds like this. I also have this sound, same effects as well. I just layered these two together and now it sounds like this together.
Then we get to this part where now I take that same flute and I take the same chord progression, but now I just make it half, half the speed, you know? So it just feels like it's building up into something. I used that and I added this one thing from the Prince. So together and with the roads, it sounds like this. Quinn decided to started to play guitar and then his guitar he was missing a string so he played this guitar I was like going from here to there it was like a little too sudden you know I was like I need to find a way to like slowly transition it in so I use this preset called wish wash 2 and I just turned the time to 100 like when you add a new part, you have to always listen back at how it transitions into there because it might sound cool when you're making it, but then it might just be too crazy. Like I used a halftime, right? And I just made it a half loop length. Mm -hmm. So then I used that and added another girl's beat. And I used this one <laughs> called this preset called beat echo, right? But then I was like, yo, no, I could make this even crazier, you know? So what I do, add another girl's beat. <laughs> so I use this one wish wash. And now it sounds like this. introduce the guitar again but the guitar is playing the regular thing Quinn played I just use this to kind of hear, yo, does this sound good? Yeah. Like, would it sound good, like, with, with drums, you know? Like, mm -hmm. in case I have to move a couple things around. I don't want to be able to... I don't want to put the, pro the other producer working on this in a position where they go, oh, this is cool, but, like, you know? Uh, ah, yeah. man, it's... Yeah, they don't want... I don't want them to, to chop it because a lot of people, they don't want to. They don't want to spend time chopping things and rearranging stuff. So I'd rather just give, give it to them, like, right on the plate. And this is one of Kingsway's latest signees breaking down two samples. 